All right, for the third straight year, one New York town is teaching kids about gun violence by taking the toy guns out of the hands of kids with a toy gun buyback program. Hempstead, New York is hosting the program created by a former cop to protect kids. They claim that many toy guns can be mistaken for real weapons. So is this a good idea to curb gun violence or just more political correctness run amok? Well, here to react, former Tucson police officer and director of urban engagement at Turning Point USA, Brandon Tatum, and Democratic strategist Antoine Seawright. Gentlemen, thank you both for being here. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. We appreciate you being here. Brandon, okay, so the, the folks that, that support this program say, um, first of all, we don't want guns being confused with real guns. And second of all, you know, are we teaching our kids the right things when they take a gun out and play with it? What do you say? Yeah, I think this is an overreaction. I, I disagree a thousand percent. I mean, it's not the guns aren't dangerous. OK, people who are who are dangerous are using weapons, whether it's a gun or not, are the ones who are dangerous. I think that we need to teach our children about gun safety. We need to give them access to education on these topics, because if we really cared about the safety of children, we will be addressing issues that are leading to causes of death for young people in this country, which is drowning, accidental, you know, vehicle accidents, fatalities, and things like that. Antoine, uh, to be fair, this town does have a crime, uh, high crime rate, so they're understandably concerned about gun violence. We're having, we've had a national debate about gun violence. Some people say it's, uh, it's training, some people say it's mental health, other people say it's, it's confiscating guns. But to say, take it to another level to say, we need to take toy guns, isn't that kind of missing the point? But Brandon says he disagrees a thousand percent. I disagree with him two thousand percent. Pete, here's what we know. As someone who's a proud um, supporter of the Second Amendment and someone who grew up in rural South Carolina where we were taught to play with guns, we also know that in 2015 there were 265 children who accidentally shot pe a person uh, with a gun. We also know that there are 1.7 million households in this country that have a loaded or uh, access to a gun with a, ch with a child, in, child in the household. And we also know that 1,300 children were killed um, with guns in this country last year. And so I'm all about trying to prevent a problem. When a child is a child, we have to train them up as a child, as the Bible says in Proverbs. And so I'm all about trying to prevent these things from happening going forward, from senseless people dying or being injured. And I think this is one way to do that. Brandon, it sounds like Antoine is making the case for responsible gun ownership, meaning if you're going to own a handgun or any sort of a rifle or weapon, you ought to know how to use it. Part of that might be, uh, you know, being able as a free kid in America to play with a toy gun when you're a kid. Right. I mean, you look at the statistics. Oh, almost half of the households in America have guns. So to make guns, you know, to, to have these children take their guns back or to demonize gun ownership is counterproductive. I think we need to do the right thing by teaching our children about safety with guns, just like we do, you know, when children go to the swimming pool. You teach them about safety, and that's going to curb the violence or curb the deaths that are associated to our children. And if you look at the stats, I mean, we can't, we can't conflate the stats. 1,300-some children were shot, but the majority of those children are of age 13 and above. I mean, they consider that in the in the uh, statistical but, data. So Antoine, I, 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 we, we have to look are, at it for what it is. Antoine, our viewers are seeing but, some but photos. Brandon. Hold on a second. Our viewers are seeing some photos. I don't know if that's exact footage from Long Island or not. But you're seeing, uh, you're, you know, you, kids could be turning in Nerf guns or colorful guns. Now, there are certain toy guns that look like real handguns and could be mistaken for such uh, in, in a dangerous moment or a confrontation with police. But uh, it... it it just feels like to a lot of people we're, we're focusing on the wrong thing as opposed to training up kids that, you know what, you got to respect law enforcement. You shouldn't be firing at, uh, you shouldn't be using a weapon improperly. You should use it safely. Uh, why shouldn't that be the focus as opposed to taking a Nerf gun or a toy gun away? Well, Pete, you can do both. You can teach responsible gun ownership and proper use, but you also can encourage kids, um, whether it's a friend of theirs who may have a gun, who should not have a gun and needs to turn it in. You can also teach a child, show them an example of how in Ohio, I think it was last year, the year before last, where a child was killed. Uh, because of a, fa a toy gun that looked like a real gun. And so you can do both. What I'm saying is I think these type programs and opportunities allow children uh, to be taught at a very early age that if you're going to go down the road of gun use, 
do it responsibly, uh, do it the proper way, but when there's an incident where it's not responsible or you're afraid of a friend or a neighbor or a colleague who has a gun that should not have a gun, then you can also tell someone or you can encourage them to turn it in. And I don't think anything's wrong with that. Anytime we can have an opportunity to curb this issue of gun violence, it, and I think we're moving well, in the right direction. Well, it's a different thing to, to, talk, to tell law enforcement about a, a gun that someone owns, owns as opposed to it opposed to a toy gun. Uh, we ha Hampstead Village uh, trustee Lamont Johnson said the purpose is to offer safe alternatives to toy guns. He's explaining the program. We don't want the kids playing with guns. Guns are dangerous. Of course, real guns are dangerous. Uh, toy guns, you know, probably not so much unless you throw them at somebody. Uh, Brandon and Antoine, well, we thank know. you very much. They look, they look different. Well, if they look, if they look same as someone's using it like that, then that, that could be a problem. That's why they put orange tips on the ends a lot of those as well, to differentiate them. But right. Antoine let's, and Brandon, let's, thank let's you very be much. Honest. Okay. We got to leave it there. I'm sorry. Appreciate it. Happy New Year to you both. Okay.